What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. In today's video, we're discussing the latest version of the Misaka Package Manager, which allows you to install tweaks on iOS 16, all the way up to 16.5, and iOS 16.6 .6 Beta 1 without being jailbroken. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM, and remove SIM lock. Definitely check it out in the link below. So a couple of days ago, we got some important updates to the Misaka Package Manager. There are a lot of versions that were released in the span of like two or three days, so you should definitely check out the latest releases tab over here because it keeps getting updated like hourly. The latest version available right now is 3.1.1 which includes KFD exploit stabilization, KFD passcode theme bug fixes apparently, supports importing zip icon packs from Havoc and UI fixes. UI fixes because back on the version 3.0.0 I think a new UI was introduced, a new user interface. So that was a little bit buggy but was fixed. So on the version 3.1.0 released yesterday we got but JS Tweak no longer performs a restore when opening the settings screen, screenshot UI, loading animation, whatever. So you can see that as you go down to two days ago to version 3.0.9 and so on, there have been a lot of changes. I would definitely advise you to go ahead and read all the change logs in here, but get the latest version available because this one contains all the previous changes as well. Now if you want to follow the account for the information on Misaka, you go to Straight Tamago here on Twitter or X as it's now called, and you should follow them because they are the main developer behind this. If you want to learn more about how Misaka works and how you can install tweaks without being jailbroken, I have prepared the full article over here on iDeviceCentral.com. Link will be below, and this contains everything you need to know about Misaka. So, what kind of tweaks you can install, how you can install repos, what iOS versions are supported, what devices are supported, and stuff like that. Even the download button for the uh, Misaka. I will update this article in the next couple of hours to contain the latest version in here because it's 3.0.9 still but you should definitely check it out because it contains the latest important information about the Misaka. Yeah, that's basically it. That's how you get Misaka and it's important to understand that Misaka doesn't require a jailbreak, which means it's also not detectable by jailbreak detection inside applications. Misaka is based basically on a full kernel exploit and that's about it. It's actually nice if you want it without being detected on any apps and blocked and banned on games and stuff. Misaka is not detected, Kaobanka is not detected, so you can just go ahead and tweak your device without any consequences I guess. So thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, check out Misaka article below and peace out.